The world is changing, we know the world is changing. We've got a difficult transition to negotiate from fossil fuels to clean energy. I think it's crucial for companies in this context to be thinking ahead, not just five years ahead, but 10, 20 years ahead. And the fact that Johnson Matthew does that is a tremendous thing to be part of. I'm Marge Ryan, and I'm Industrial Research Manager in the Platinum Group Metals Market Research Team here at Johnson Matthew. The Platinum Group Metals are a group of metals that occur together on the periodic table and they're also found generally in association with each other in the Earth's crust. The five metals that we're most interested in at Johnson Matthey are Platinum, Palladium, Rhodium, Ruthenium and Iridium. And the reason Johnson Matthey works with these metals is because they are industrially extremely powerful, they can offer selectivity benefits, they can offer environmental benefits in their use, and they are extremely durable. They've got very high melting temperatures, uh, highly corrosion resistant, and that means that they can be used in settings and environments where other materials just would not survive. I'm Katie Smart and I'm the Chemical Product Technical Manager in the Platinum Group Metal Services business in Johnson Matthey. PGMs have a lot of applications. We all know them from jewellery, but actually they make up some of the most important catalysts we have. Some of the chemical products that my team make, they're used to make pharmaceuticals, for example, for cancer treatment. They're also used to make vitamins and fragrance compounds. PGMs are in the automotive sensors and the catalytic converters in our cars. They're used in electronic components, so uh, resistors contain platinum group metals. We are seeing increasing interest in the platinum group metals for clean energy applications and particularly within hydrogen. So the use of platinum in fuel cells and iridium in electrolyzers to make green hydrogen. The amount of platinum that's mined every year, the volume of that is roughly equivalent to an SUV. Iridium is much rarer metal, so in terms of the amount of iridium that's mined every year, that would comfortably fit into seven carry-on suitcases. Mining precious metals is the obvious route to obtaining them, but actually mining produces a lot of carbon dioxide, so being able to recycle the metals is more sustainable. Johnson Matthey is the largest secondary refiner of platinum group metals, so that means the largest recycler. So we're able to take PGM products once they finish their life, recycle it, and then put it back into that same product or a different product. So if you can imagine that atom of platinum goes round and round the loop, that means that we have reliable sources of these scarce elements. My name is Harim Mahmoud and I'm a production lead for evaluation in Brimstone. This is a 24-hour operation where we receive raw data from customers. The material that we process come from a variety of places. Some of them are external, some of them are internal. We press these material and then we mill them, grind them down into powder form and process them to find out the PGM content of this material. So what we do here is critical to recycling PGM. You know, demand for iridium going forward, the key way we're going to meet that is through obviously recycling, but also through thrifting. Johnson Matthey has an atomic level understanding of our products that we've developed over our 200 year history. This puts us head and shoulders above the competition, so we're able to fine tune our products to give customers what they need. We have an in-house market research team, experts in tracking and forecasting. That gives Johnson Matthey and our customers a lot of strategic insight. And that knowledge we have about recycling means we are uh, absolutely the experts on circularity as well. But it's through that expertise that we have that we really believe we understand the platinum group metals markets in more depth than anyone else.